first one uh, within fall on uh, Saturday. Um, I know coaches I talk to, they will take the split. I'm sure you'd like the, the sweep, but uh, your impression after the, the latest road trip? Well, I was very pleased with uh, our performance and executing our game plan on Thursday night against Pomona. I thought the girls did a tremendous job from from setting the tone from the beginning and, and again, most importantly, just really sticking with our game plan on what we went into the game trying to do. Uh, the unfortunate thing was we did not carry that over on, on Saturday night, so as good of a win as Thursday night was, I look at Saturday as a, as a really bad loss um, for us. And the most disappointing thing was I just didn't think we think we came with the efforts um, and we did not execute the game plan. And, you know, I'll take responsibility for, for just not having the team ready on, on Saturday afternoon against Monterey Bay. I was, I was concerned about a few things after coming off of a big win, obviously. And as I like to say, sometimes it's, it's a team can have a hangover, as I say, after a big win. And, and unfortunately, we did. Um, so in that respect, it was disappointing. Um, however, hope that we've learned from the situation. We had a good film session yesterday, and, and we're ready to get back on the floor today. And, and obviously, I have a couple good practices here in preparing for San Francisco State. Yeah, home for one game this week. Uh, San Francisco, a team that has struggled, uh, showing by the record. Uh, but what have you seen? Uh, do they look like a winless team, or uh, what are you seeing see from the strengths on the uh, well, again, if we didn't learn from last Saturday, because going into last Saturday, Monterey Bay was a winless team, um, and, and we did not come out ahead. So as I always tell the girls, records are not necessarily indicative of the quality of a basketball team. Um, and I, I feel the same way against San Francisco State. I mean, it's very clear and apparent in our conference when you just look at the win-losses amongst each other, That and I say this all the time, but anybody can truly beat anybody in this conference which is an exciting thing. I, I love the parody. Um, and San Francisco State is no different. Um, you know, we have to come out Thursday night ready to go. And if we don't, you know, the bottom line is if we don't execute our defensive game plan, our chances of being successful are very slim. When we do execute, execute our defensive game plan, I always like our chances. Um, so that's certainly something that we just have to become more consistent with. There's more of the, the, the defense uh, on Saturday, things that can be corrected, but things that you're going to work on this weekend. They get back uh, uh, to your winning ways. Yeah, you know, I, I say this all the time to the girls. We certainly did not shoot the ball well at, at Monterey Bay either. Um, our shooting percentages were really poor in shots that we're capable of making. But those are things that you don't always have control over in, in a basketball game. And that's why I always emphasize not the offensive end because you're going to have nights like that. But we, can, we, we do have control of our defense and we have control of our effort. And that's why that is the one thing that just has to become – and be constant all the time. And, and we took a step backwards, um, unfortunately, on Saturday. However, you know, I'm confident that we're going to have a couple good days of practice this week and, and get ourselves back on track. Talk about the season so far, the, both Alexia and uh, Ty Tyvers, especially Alexia, just the, the numbers and what she's been able to accomplish so far. Well, again, you know, Tyra and Lex, you know, they're obviously two of the premier players in, in the CC2A conference, and, and for that matter, I would say regionally as well. Um, and regardless of statistics that they put up, I mean, just their stability that they provide us as a team. I mean, you know, a lot of the team stats that you see in regards to our assist to turnover or that's Tyra. I mean, that's, that's, that's an indication of who your point guard is. And, you know, Tyra has just been so incredibly consistent for us. And it, the ball is in her hands 90% of the time. And for what she does out there, you know, I, I don't actually think she gets enough credit. And, and people really realize just how well she manages our team. Um, before you guys go into the, uh, uh, the Christmas break, uh, you know, you got San Francisco, uh, some road matchups. Uh, talk about the stretch uh, of the schedule right now. Right, you know, again, last week we said three of our four games are going to be on the road, and now here we are with our two of our next three um, on the road before we hit the Christmas break. So it's it's a tough stretch here, and it's it's hard to win in the CC two A conference in general, let alone on the road. And you got to show toughness. And next week is, is finals week, which is brings in a whole other you know dynamic to the to just start preparing for Chico State. However, we're not even talking about that right now. All of our focus is on San Francisco State, and we certainly will take one game at a time, but. We just have to be tougher um, than, and we just, we, consistency is, is the word that continues to come to my mind because we have been fighters throughout the year so far, and we have finished off some really tough games. And so I, I know that that is in us. Um, we just have to be a little bit more mature and know that we have to do that at all times. So the Pomona game, obviously a very close one, um, kind of looked a little bit more like a scoring match, but how did you feel the defense really did in there? 
I thought we were excellent. Um, you know, we actually, I don't remember the exact number, but we had a fairly significant lead on, on Pomona. And again, I attribute that to, to great defense. And it's, it's tough to maintain and to hold a lead like that on the road against a quality team like Pomona. And so as much as the final score ended up being a close one, certainly we would have loved to have kept our lead. But again, just like the poise that I thought our girls had down the stretch and able to finish a game like that, a game like that on the road. Um, kudos to our team for, do, for doing that.